it's a hard task to accomplish because there's some places that are still un you know untouched by you know Western society. I mean, if you go in there, they might headhunt you or something. But um, anyways, the other second charity that I feel strongly about is I would like to somehow. I mean, I'll give you a, 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 a insight into it. So in uh, certain parts of the world, and I'm going to say India, in India, uh, the people will actually take the garbage, and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about garbage. They will take garbage, and they will sort through it, and then sell it, and, you know, like the recyclables and stuff, which is really good. I'm glad that they do that. That gives them a, mean of, a means of income. You know, so they're not starving to death. Their families don't starve to death. They sort through garbage all day. But my thing is, is I know that there is enough supplies in garbage and stuff that we could, uh, you know, use, basically. Reuse, you know. I'm not really saying so much of a recycling. Even though it is a recycling, it's really more like of a just kind of clean up the garbage in a sense you know what I mean there's there's I feel there's too much garbage and if we don't do something about it now it it might get to the point where there's just too much garbage you know what I mean and then it might cause I, I would say health issues stuff like that uh, and then we won't be able to like burn it all or anything because that will really mess up the environment so I feel we need to do something about garbage Maybe, maybe even on the home level, get get people to uh, start making wiser decisions about garbage in their own homes and stuff. You know, like what what do you throw away? You know, what do you consider to be garbage? And that that that's one of the the kind of charity things I'm talking about. I would maybe like to start some kind of charity. For uh, clean drinking water on the planet, and as well uh, cleaning up the garbage. Now, I don't know if I'll ever start these charities or whatever, but like I said, I just encourage you all to uh, think about that. Think about your water consumption as well as your garbage. Uh, I'm not going to say consumption, your <laughs> garbage uh, deconsumption, I guess. Uh, the word I'm looking for. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Where is some land here? I guess we're just going to keep going south. Well, anyways, um, yeah, those are the things I wanted to talk about. Let me get some of this wood right here. As far as a charity goes, I want to do that. Water and garbage. Which is kind of, I mean, electricity is another thing too, but then I'll just sound like I'm just like a public works guy. You know, water, water and sewage and garbage and stuff. But um, seriously, those are things I do care about. I really do care about you know the environment and stuff. And uh, I can't say that I'm any better than the rest of you. I mean, I I I wish I could just take a photo of the garbage that I have right now, just piled up, and just show you guys how much garbage I actually have and how much I I actually output by myself because. I do live alone and stuff. I do go and see my family and stuff sometimes, but I do live alone. And, uh, yeah, even I just have the hugest amount of garbage coming in and out. And also it's true that I have friends that come over and they leave garbage and stuff here. But, I mean, as far as it goes, most of it is my garbage, you know, that I, I output, I guess you could say. I intake a pizza box with a pizza in it and then output a pizza box right because the the pizza inside gets consumed so I mean as far as it goes there's still the box now like I said that has to do with like thinking about what you're gonna do with the garbage and I'm not saying you should keep the cardboard box I'm not saying you should burn the cardboard box I'm not saying you should do anything with the cardboard box but I'm just saying like it, just think about where that cardboard box is going to go. You know, you're going to put it in your garbage, right? Which is true. You're going to put it in your garbage. But then, on the other hand, where are we going to the swamp again, man? It's terrible. But then, on the other hand, 
it's got to go somewhere and you you'll end up throwing it in the garbage and then it will go to the garbage dump it will be put there and used at some point but um basically I was thinking something along the lines of like well, I guess we I guess we're going back east you guys um I was thinking along the lines of something like maybe you know the Indian people like sort through the garbage and you know classify what is garbage maybe here here's a perfect example I drink Pepsi Cola right pop whatever you want to call it Pepsi I drink Pepsi now a lot of people are coke people and yeah, that's cool that's cool I'm glad you like coca cola I like it too but I'm a Pepsi guy I drink lots and lots of Pepsi and one thing is is I Get, you know, of course, buy like a, a let's say I buy a 12 pack of cans, right? There's a horse. I buy a 12 pack of cans, and then that's 12 aluminum cans when I'm done and a box, right? Now, here's the thing if, if, oh, it's a baby. Is that a baby horse? Oh my god, it's a baby horse. If, uh, if I took those cans, and of course, a lot of people crush them to make them smaller. It takes up less, you know, surface area, but it's still the fact that there's aluminum right there and uh, paper, aluminum and paper, and that, and, and and like I said, in another country, that's valuable. That 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 is considered treasure. Here, it's just considered waste. So that's just what I'm saying. Like, you got to think about what what you consider garbage, right? What do you consider garbage? Because to someone else, that, that's not garbage. That's like their livelihood. That's how they feed their family and stuff. So really, what I'm trying to say is... Just, just pay more attention to your garbage. Really, pay attention to the things you throw away. You're throwing this stuff away. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't throw it away. Because there are things you need to throw away. You need to throw away... That old plate that had that spaghetti on it. You know what I mean? And it's all kind of stained with the oil from the spaghetti. And you, you know you need to throw that away. And the fork, the little plastic fork you use too. You need to throw that away. But at the same time, like, is there something you can do with that? And, and that's kind of the charity I wanted to start. Like, I mean, maybe even take, let's say, the aluminum, right? and do something with it like you know melt it back down into a bar of aluminum then you got free aluminum smelt it into a pole or something you know I don't know I don't know I don't I don't know exactly what the charity is yet I just know that I want to do something where I help clean up the planet man and help provide clean drinking water that's all I know that's that's my charities other than that I have no clue don't know how to get it started don't know the right people to talk to the right people to request something from blah 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 blah, blah. I don't you know as a matter of fact if I started the charities I would probably hand it over to someone else so I couldn't mess it up and that is the truth I would just give over the charity to some foundation that would take it over and run with it basically because I would probably mess it up somehow not intending to of course because I never intend to mess things up but just the way my life is things are messed up so and like I said it's not my intention it's just the way it is and I've come to accept that fact in my life that nothing ever turns out the way I want you know and it's not that and a lot of people I've heard people in like you know, like motivational speakers and stuff say you gotta take a hold of your life and you gotta do this and do that. And the truth the truth is is that the whole time I've had a hold of my life, you know, I am me. I I, I can't I can't be anyone other than who I am. And that goes for the rest of you. You shouldn't want to be anyone other than who you are. You shouldn't want to just because somebody else has a car or something, you shouldn't want that car. It's true. Because 
yeah, they got a sweet car, but I mean, think of how much car insurance per month they're paying. You don't want, you don't need that in your life.